Hey guys, Ed Lester here from Showtime Car Audio. Now, I've had a lot of stuff going on, so I haven't been here lately. But one of the things that I have going on right now, over at the website, we have a deal going on on uh, some excess power 14 volt batteries, the S1400, and some of the accessories. So that deal has uh, raised a few concerns, and I want to address that a little bit um, with 14 volt batteries and high voltage systems in general, because there's a lot of people that are scared off by running higher voltage, especially when you go to forums and people just say, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Well learn a little bit research and get to know what you're doing and you have to do it the first time if you're going to do it at all uh, there's first time for everything so let me show you the battery and this is the s1400 like i said now this is part of excess powers racing series which is built on the same principles and design that their d series is just a little bit lighter um, smaller versions so there is a d1400 a D series 14 volt battery which just has a little bit more uh, capacity than this it's a little bit bigger battery and this is a 25 amp hour battery so the reserve isn't there uh, I would say about 1500 watts is what you can run off of a single S1400 uh, but because of the deal we got going on now what you would do is run multiples multiples of these run a whole bank of these uh, to run your higher powered systems off of and one of the benefits of higher voltage uh, is higher power from your amplifiers uh, a lot of the amplifiers when you look at ratings are rated at 14.4 volts well let me talk about that a little bit. A 12 volt battery is made up of six cells. About two volts per cell gives us the 12 volts. Uh, a 14 volt battery has one additional cell. And it's so it's 14 volts. And a 16 volt battery would have two additional cells over the 12 volt making it 16 volts. Now to charge a battery, you have to put in more voltage than what the battery rests at. And for AGM batteries, the recommended charging uh, maximum is about 2.4 volts per cell, uh, which gives uh, about 14.4 volts to charge a 12 volt battery or 16.8 to charge a 14 volt battery. And obviously over 18 to charge a 16 volt battery. Um, so we're looking at most alternators from factory and even aftermarket to uh, regulate it to charge 12 volt systems charge at 14.4 volts well when you have a load from your amplifiers they're gonna draw that down they're gonna drop uh, have voltage drop from that point so you won't have a full full 14.4 volts so you almost never get that power that is rated on that amplifier to get the power or to get even more you can increase your voltage and the safest and best way to do that for the battery sake is to have a higher voltage battery you don't want to overcharge your 12 volt battery so you increase the voltage of the battery at another cell and then you increase the voltage of the charge of the alternators so one concern is how to charge them. What, what do you have to do to get your charging system to incorporate 14 volt batteries? Well, the best way is to upgrade your alternator. If you're doing a big system, a lot of power, you wanna upgrade your alternator anyway. More current and more voltage equal more power. So we have Mechman alternators. When you order a Mechman alternator, if you have 14 volts or even 16 specifically in mind, we can build these and have them done in such a way where, where they'll be um, uh, built for a higher voltage regulator. And we offer through Mechman a, an external regulator and some factory alternators are externally regulated as well. But to be more stable at high voltage, you might have to uh, do a modification. So before you run your factory alternator at higher voltage, um, talk to me and we'll uh, see if we can work that out. But if you're upgrading the alternator, we can build you a package that has an adjustable external regulator, which will allow you to turn it up to 16 and a half to 16.8 volts to charge your 14 volt batteries uh, via a knob that you have on the dash. And some GM cars, uh, trucks and SUVs, Mechman makes a nice unit that will plug directly into the PCM or the uh, car's computer and has a knob on that harness that you can tune uh, accordingly to give the higher voltage to your battery. Now, you can do this with a uh, full, with an isolated 
um, 14 volt system or a dedicated whole car 14 volt system. So the concern is, is that higher voltage going to damage uh, the car's computers, the electronics, the computer transmission, any of that kind of stuff. Um, in most common cars, most domestics and older cars, uh, no. Now there's a nice video from Tony Candela, so go check that out, and he has a lot more detail on 14 volt systems. So if you want to watch that video, he has two parts. Um, now he raises a concern for performance issues, uh, uh, especially some muscle cars and some performance cars that have upgraded components, uh, specifically the fuel pump. So if you have a lot of performance upgrades, you might want to look and do a little bit more research before you just go and change over to 14 volts. But most commonly, you can run a 14 volt battery under the hood to start the engine and run the car. And if you're doing audio, add more 14 volt uh, batteries in the rear and all you would have to change is the regulated alternator uh, upgrade your alternator upgrade the regulator get a little bit more higher voltage um, uh, the next um, most common system would be for some newer imports specifically hondas uh, you might have to use a step down module and you can still use the 14 volt battery under the hood and 14 volt batteries in the rear then a step down module would be used to drop it down to 12 volts and run that 12 volt feed into the fuse box in the car on the firewall. And that will allow the car's electronics to real, still run off at of 12 volts uh, so that they don't run uh, finicky or anything like that. Now, if your car has a lot of finicky electronics or you have alternators or some other electronic accessories uh, that go into pr protect over 16 volts, then you might want to look at a fully isolated system. And what this is, is you, can, you will have a 12 volt battery under the hood and you will still regulate your alternators to charge higher and use a step down to the 12 volt battery. So you have a 12 volt uh, uh, system a whole dedicated battery and charge and you run all your 12 volt accessories off of that 12 volt battery under the hood and then before uh, the step down directly off the alternator you run a feed to the back and put multiple 14 volt batteries in the back and run your audio amplifiers off of those so you have options depends on what you're doing uh, another um, thing you might want to look into is if you don't especially if you're not charging the batteries um, uh, off the alternator all the time is um, uh, a 14 volt charger and we have those there's a package deal we got going on so we have excess power offers chargers for all of their batteries 12 14 and 16 volt and if you're going to store the car for a while or put a heavy demand on it before shutting it off, you're going to want to let it sit on a charger uh, for a while. And the IntelliChargers will uh, put the batteries into a float mode and maintain them to keep them at a nice uh, topped off charge uh, for a good amount of time. So that pretty much answers a lot of our uh, questions and concerns uh, that I've been getting. Now, if you have more questions, if you have more concerns, if you need help choosing the right alternator for your car or choosing the right size and quantity of battery for your system, if you have a, a set amount of wattage you want to run and you need a little bit of advice of how to set up your electrical to run properly, let me know. Shoot me a message on Facebook, uh, in the comments below, uh, go to our, our site, hit me up on chat, whatever. I'm there for some advice. If you need advice or ask about any of our current deals going on, what we got going, um, how to choose the correct wire for your system, power wire, very important. Uh, you need the right connectors, power wire, as well as batteries and alternator. Any of those questions, concerns, uh, let me know. I'm here and uh, I'll catch you next time.